Mm. Ah, that's a great smoothie. Hey guys, it's Andy here. I'm um, just doing a hopefully quick uh, response video to uh, one of the videos on the Molly and Tomoko channel. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, he's mostly known on YouTube uh, for his uh, Warmoth Strat channel. Um, Molly is uh, a J-blogger. He's, he's one that I really enjoy uh, watching. He's, he's got a very entertaining set of videos. I, I really, I personally enjoy his uh, videos with him and his wife Tomoko. Just, I really like seeing their interaction together. It's, it's a lot of fun. So, uh, his main channel is Warmoth Strat, uh, but the video I'm responding to is on his Molly and Tomoko channel. Um, so, and the video uh, in particular that I'm responding to is, is uh, uh, the one where he's talking about uh, taking uh, drum lessons to help improve his guitar playing. Now, uh, We'll do a little backstory on me, so you won't know I'm just you know talking out talking out of my ass or whatever. So um, for me, I started playing guitar at a very early age. Um, I was around seven, I believe, seven or eight. Um, my dad, uh, way back in the day, got me a, uh, a Les Paul copy by the company K, which if you're a fan of the White Stripes and uh, other garage rock bands, that brand may sound familiar. You know, K, Silvertone, that sort of thing. Um, it was a basic Les Paul copy. Uh, it's in some of my uh, Chrome Sparks Riff Idea videos, so if you want to check that out, um, you can check out the YouTube channel for that. I think it's on there, uh, which is youtube.com slash chrome sparks. Um, I also have a playlist of the videos on my Andy Sound channel as well, so just look through my playlist, Chrome Sparks. It should be, uh, I think, some of the, the first two and maybe a couple others. Those are the only ones I can remember offhand. Uh, so if you want to hear it in action or see it, <laughs> uh, that's long sold by now, a uh, long story. But anyway, um, you know, back in the early, early days, you know, I was taking lessons from this guy at the local music store, and uh, he was trying to teach me stuff like Mary Had a Little Lamb and Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, and, you know, I wasn't interested in doing that. Even at seven years old, that's pretty freaking lame. Um, and plus, I was seven years old, so I had the attention span of a gnat. <laughs> so obviously, you know, I put the guitar down, and I didn't pick it up again until I was 19, when my dad unfortunately passed away. And uh, he was a musician back in the day, uh, before I was born. He'd play in, like, cover bands, and he'd do uh, some original stuff, too. He did uh, some recording in Nashville. He supposedly was going to do... Uh, some stuff, some big name bands. Uh, the one I remember is supposed to do some stuff with uh, Molly Hatchet. That's the uh, the one band I remember offhand. Um, do like some studio work and stuff like that. I don't know if any of this stuff actually went on record. I don't know. It's just stuff I hear from my mom and some of Dad's friends. Um, but yeah, just you know, him passing away. Kind of uh, one of Dad's old friends. Uh, while we, while uh, me and my brother were there, just you know, he asked us, you know, it's really sad that your father passed away, and uh, you know, are you guys in any bands? Um, do you play? And we we're like, mm, no, I, I played when I was seven. I didn't, haven't really picked up anything, you know. He's like, you know, it's a real shame, you know. It's just, I'm trying to think of what he said, you know, just, you know, he just basically wondered if uh, the gift of music, you know, passed on to us and. I don't know, just hearing him say that, it kind of uh, gave me the motivation to figure out, you know, did that really die with him, or did it get passed on to us? And, uh, you know, so I learned a little bit, and it wasn't until uh, very early 2005 that I uh, actually picked up the guitar again. Uh, one of my friends uh, at McDonald's, when I was working at the time, uh, Travis, he had a friend who was selling his uh, Squire Strat, his uh, little crappy beginner amp. Um, now, of course, this was back when uh, Squire Strats were pretty shitty. Um, they're a lot better now, I gotta say, so uh, they're not quite up to regular Fender standards, but they're pretty close, I mean, in my opinion. You know, the more seasoned vets <laughs> may scream blasphemy at that, but just from this guy's opinion, you know, they're pretty... Uh, the regular squires are now are pretty good. So um, anyway, so I got that. Um, I relearned uh, a lot of chords, uh, learned some very basic like pop punk songs from the 90s. You know, like Green Day, 
Weezer, um, Blink-182, you know, stuff like that. And I really enjoy playing that, that genre of music. It's, it's a lot of fun, it's very high energy, very simple, so you're not worried about, oh, I hit the wrong note, shit, you know. It's usually like three or four chords, so <laughs> obviously if you fuck one of those up, you know, everybody's gonna know, but, you know, just, it's very easy, so you can, you know, really dig into the rhythm and kind of play around, and, you know, it's, it's not really thinking man's music, but being, being a guitar player, you know, I definitely appreciate all genres of music with and without guitar, um, but the stuff that does have guitar in it, you know, for me, I like the super shreddy, you know, just pushing the limits of what the instrument can do kind of music. Um, so I like all the like eclectic stuff, like what Tom Morello does, uh, Buckethead, you know, he's not just a shredder, he's very melodic and he has a lot of cool, quirky stuff, you know, I also like Jack White, uh, especially considering what he does with a very minimal setup, you know, just drums, guitar, vocals, I mean, what that man can do with, with just those three things is beyond belief. I mean, that's definitely something, definitely something to look out for. Um, so I like those kind of quirky artists as well as the uh, Super Shredder dudes. You know, if it wasn't, I remember back in college watching uh, one of Marty Friedman's uh, videos. It was actually, uh, now th this, this is why Marty Friedman's my favorite guitar player of all time. He made a very, and I mean very, very basic uh, guitar video. It's called uh, Guitar Day One, I believe. Uh, oh no, Electric Guitar Day One, I'm sorry. Where he basically goes through, you know, I mean, if you pick up a guitar and you don't know anything, I mean, you don't know your ass from a hole in the ground as far as playing guitar goes, definitely, definitely, definitely track this video down. It will help you get started, you know, very basic. He teaches you, like, basic power chords, uh, some rhythm, gives you some rhythm ideas, um, and near the end he teaches you some very basic scales, like maybe like a pentatonic kind of thing, you know, just to get you started, and that's the whole idea. And for somebody who's very renowned for very technical, very fast, very exotic guitar playing, for him to actually do that, to get to do such a very back-to-basics video, I mean, I really got to give him respect. And obviously, he's done uh, other instructional videos, um, some of his early ones where he shows off very exotic uh, guitar scales, and he did uh, the 99 uh, phrases one, which I think you can still find on eBay, and his, I think his website has it too. But um, I, I most remember him from the. Uh, from that electric guitar day one video. It's, I think it's pretty rare now, but if you can track it down on eBay or your local guitar store, it's it's a definite must have. Even if you've been playing for years and all this other stuff, just the fact of someone of that cali caliber, you know, going through all the motions and doing all the really basic shit, you know, it's, it's, it's very, not really humbling, but just, it, I don't know. That's just one of my favorites. Um, but anyway, um, uh, around 2005 is when I picked up guitar again and uh, you know learned basic chords, you know maybe a couple scale shapes, uh, basic songs, stuff like that. And uh, what I was getting to was uh, my, one of the things in uh, Molly's video was that he pointed out some of the flaws in his playing, which was mostly from a rhythm standpoint, which is why he's taking drum lessons to help improve his rhythm, as well as uh, improvising. Now, I'm not, a, I'm not a lead guitar player at all. I started off trying to do all the cool tapping and fast playing and all this other stuff, but, you know, I, you know, in order to keep me going with the guitar, I decided to go for the simpler stuff, the more rhythmic stuff. And I found that to be a lot more interesting uh, for my playing. And also, I found a lot of uh, really cool shreddy guitars, guitarists uh, incorporate rhythmic playing, and that's what makes uh, a lot of their solos really stand out. Now, uh, one of the players that uh, comes to mind when I'm thinking of stuff like that is uh, players like Neil Schoen from Journey, uh, Carlos Santana, Michael Shanker. He's a he's an excellent example of incorporating rhythm with uh, guitar soloing, Gary Moore, the late great Gary Moore, uh, stuff like that. Um, so that was the general style that I went for, and uh, if you watch uh, my Chrome Sparks videos, where I show like riff ideas and stuff like that, 
Um, I don't really go out of my way to try to sound like anybody. Like, you know, some people are like, oh, I want to sound like Clapton or Paige or Hendrix or, you know, whoever. But, you know, I don't really go out of my way to sound like them. I mean, subconsciously, you know, oh, that sounds kind of like U2 or oh, that kind of sounds like Tool, you know. But I don't, like, go out of my way to sound like that. It just, just comes out that way. So, <laughs> and... Yeah, so uh, one of the ba one of the uh, main flaws with my playing is I'm not a good lead guitar player at all. I'm excellent, or I like to think I'm a pretty good rhythm guitar player. Um, I can definitely uh, keep a good beat and uh, have a really strong picking attack and stuff like that. Um, but as far as you know, doing the whittly whittly, you know, dun -dun 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 you know, that pentatonic stuff, I'm not very good at it. Um, so I mostly like sticking to rhythm. And uh, another problem that I have with my guitar playing is I can't sing and play guitar at the same time. Now, granted, I'm a pretty crappy singer. I, I know some people think it sounds like two cats fucking, but uh, I still enjoy doing it. You know, it's <laughs> for better or worse, I still enjoy singing. And uh, if anything, I could be like a backup singer to you know the main guy, whatever. Um, but I still want to learn how to sing and play at the same time, just because. It, it's always eluded me. It's always, I mean, for a lot of people, it's, it's a very natural thing. You know, when I ask them, you know, how do you do it? You know, what, how did you manage to play and sing at the same time? It just, it seemed like such a, like a pat your head and rub your belly kind of thing. It just, you know, because I'm so invested mentally in what I'm doing here that, you know, doing this, as well as, you know, singing, it's like... You know, you gotta split your attention up a little bit, and it just seems too much for me to wrap my head around. So that's why I'm gonna be taking lessons in about a week or two, you know, just to learn how to sing and play at the same time. And also to improve rhythm and other little issues that I have, but mostly to learn how to sing and play at the same time. So, um, yeah, that's uh, the main point of that. Uh, but also, um, I wanted to make a small request to uh, Molly as far as like future videos and stuff like that. Um, I really, really want him to do more videos involving music. Now he doesn't have to do like a boatload or like dedicate a channel to it. Um, but I'd like to see more of his, especially since he's taking lessons. I'd like to see more of his progress. You know, how is he getting better from the drum lessons? Is he getting worse? You know, what kind of stuff is he learning? You know little jam sessions with his friends like uh, Joe he has uh, on his warmest strat channel which uh, I'll put links and stuff in the down bar so you can check that stuff out yeah one of his friends Joe has this little uh, section of videos that he's recorded called Joe's turnarounds and uh, I think as of this recording he has uh, six or seven don't quote me on it but uh, you can check the warmest strat channel for uh, those and uh, I really like the Joe's turnaround section it's very it's a very unique idea, I guess. Um, basically, you know how everybody has the licks, and they don't quite know how to escape out of it and go back to the main riff or whatever, you know, or to help, you know, extend from one lick to another, just kind of escape from the lick. <laughs> um, and he has six little cool ideas to uh, help improve that. Um, I try doing them, and I suck, but <laughs> that's just me. Uh, definitely check those out. Um, yeah, I'd like to see more of Molly actually playing music. Now, I know he has a separate channel for when he plays live, and uh, he's pretty good, I like to say. Um, but I can't recall the name of the channel at the top of my head, but I'll put it down in the, uh, in the down bar once I remember. So, links and all that good jazz are going to be down there. Um, but, yeah, I'd definitely like to see more of Molly playing his progression, you know, what he's learning from his lessons, uh, maybe some jam sessions, uh, some live stuff. Now, I know YouTube is kind of, is pretty iffy about doing cover tunes and stuff like that. I mean, since, since he's a YouTube partner, it's a little squicky, but uh, he does have a separate channel, like I said, specifically for live stuff, so he doesn't have to worry about it as much, but I'd still like to see him do it more, and also advertise that channel more, just so more people can see the musical side of him, because I think, you know, as a musician, you know, the goal is to express yourself, and uh, I'd, I'd just really like to see him express himself as a musician, but uh, that's just my two cents, so yeah. 
this is me, Andy Son, signing off for now. Thanking you guys for tuning in to this uh, hopefully quick response video. I know I tend to ramble a lot, but that's just me. <laughs> also, gotta thank you guys for liking, commenting, subscribing, sending a few friends to the party. And as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later. Good luck, Molly.